Hello out there photoshoppers and welcome to a short tutorial in photoshop where we want to recreate this Porter Robertson Spitfire album art or at least just this effect right here and we won't worry about the text or this I don't know assets these assets here so what amazes me with this technique is that you can create such an awesome picture with so little uh, all there is to it you just create a shape and rotate the image now I went ahead and double checked it and rotated it back so I didn't make a fool out of myself on YouTube. So that's actually the whole effect. So I thought that this would be a fine short little tutorial with a broken hand. So let's create a new document and uh, a thousand times a thousand pixels will be fine and resolution for the internet and passed in your image you want to use in my case. It's the jungle. I'm just zooming out, pressing Ctrl T to get the free transfer, and I'm just going to resize, resize the image. So this is perfect. Ctrl 1 to zoom in again. And then I'm going to create the shapes I want. Now I will create them as shape and not as pixels because then I can create the shape and then go ahead and resize it all I want and I won't worry about the pixels or the resolution because this is actually a vector inside of Photoshop. So I'll just resize that, align it in the middle, and and stretch it all the way through. Now I'll just go to the move tool and press Control A and then align it again in the middle just to be 100% sure that it is perfectly centered. Then I'm going to duplicate this shape layer by pressing Control J by pressing Control J, and then uh, I'm going to just going to resize that with the free transform, and I will make sure that I maintain the aspect ratio by pressing this anchor button. Then it will anchor the width and the height. And now I can just click and drag to resize this uh, shape layer and see. And I think there's some kind of viewport error because you should see the other uh, rectangle, but I'll just cancel that. Um, and just turn down the opacity for this other layer so I can see what I, what I'm doing because and, and how thick the the uh, the new rectangle is so I think I'll go for a thickness of this like that that's perfect and then I will turn up the opacity again and now I'll use this rectangle by control clicking it uh, on the thumbnail and I will get the selection of that then go down to the, our image and press Ctrl J to duplicate that. Now press uh, on the rectangle, the top rectangle again. To get the selection, I'll just hide these and press delete because then I will get um, you know, the shape that we want. Of course, you can use any shapes you want for this technique. And now the all is to it is to flip it. And you can do that by pressing Alt, E, A and H and then it will flip it horizontally or of course you can come press ctrl t and then right click and go to the flip horizontal or vertically now you have it in a new layer you can do something with it i don't know a drop shadow or you'll come back to the rectangles and create a better shape or whatever you want in my opinion this image confirms that we don't have to worry that much about advanced photoshop tips and tricks but more about you know simple uh, but great design principles I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like, share or comment, whatever. This helps me out a lot. Anyways, thank you for watching.